Hey, Red Hawks, welcome to another Canvas guide where today we're talking about special characters in Canvas. Uh, now, a special character is any form of text that is outside the set of numbers, uh, letters, and symbols that are on your standard English keyboard. Uh, and that covers quite a big range of things. We'll see what that looks like in a second. But for now, uh, we need to talk about where they are available in Canvas. Uh, and secondly, how to access them. So um, starting with where they're available, uh, it's going to be anywhere where you have this text editor. Uh, it's also called the rich content editor, but text editor will do just as well. Uh, and this uh, tool is available on any of these items here. Announcements, of course, uh, which is pretty much just a text box. Uh, assignments, where you have the description at the top. Uh, that text editor will be there. Uh, discussions, of course, uh, purely a, a text uh, conversation. Uh, teachers and students will uh, be able to access them there. Pages are, of course, just a giant text box again. Quizzes include it, uh, where you have maybe the instructions at the beginning and also an essay prompt uh, question type. It'll be present there. And finally, the syllabus page. Uh, this is not simple syllabus, but the stock syllabus tool that includes the text box at the top and the uh, table of assignments underneath. Those are the locations. And accessing the actual special character options uh, depends on which device you are using. So on a Windows machine, the combination is going to be Windows plus the period key. You can see highlighted here. So Windows period. On Mac OS, uh, command control space will bring up the same menu, uh, or you can simply hold uh, the desired lettered key and any associated options are going to pop up uh, to let you choose from. That is similar to how it works in the Canvas app uh, on any mobile device. So it could be Android, could be iOS. But if you press and hold the letter key, uh, you can see on the right side here, I'm pressing and holding the A. Uh, and I get these options that are affiliated with uh, the A uh, letter form here. So. Um, those are the ways to go about accessing it. Um, now we can jump over to Canvas and take a look at the actual options. All right, welcome to Canvas and my sandbox course where we have pulled up a text box and on my Windows machine here, I'm gonna press Windows period and it'll bring up these options. Uh, now there is a lot going on here, so let's talk through it. Uh, across the top, you will see three categories. Uh, we have emoji, we have old school emoticons, uh, and we have symbols. Uh, that is a pretty big category. So we'll uh, talk through each of these. Uh, and the not necessarily uh, intuitive part of this is that these items across the bottom here in black and white are subcategories. So you can click through uh, each of these to access uh, different parts of the inventory here. Uh, faces, uh, slightly more detailed faces, other things, food, transportation. The uh, emoticon category has a few subcategories of its own. Uh, and finally, symbols has a few subcategories too. We have uh, punctuation and a lot of math symbols, currency, arrows, uh, special characters from other languages and writing systems, very important, fractions, uh, many, many math symbols, actually. And at the end here, we have Greek letters uh, in addition to many others. So um, I would encourage you to take some time to explore that. Um, and But it is uh, kind of a lot. So they have this nifty search feature here, too. If you click that magnifying glass, what it's asking you to do now is type the thing you want. So uh, we're going to say car, and it will sort uh, for the most relevant things here. So we have 
uh, regular car. We have a race car. We have a tram car. Tram car is actually what I want. So uh, we're going to select that. And you can see the emoji has appeared in my text box. And when we save, it will appear there uh, just like you might expect on your phone or uh, in some other context. But uh, Canvas has them too. So a uh, few special notes. Uh, if you are copying and pasting something with special characters from Word into Canvas, for example, uh, do double check that everything is appearing uh, as you expect there, as you intend. And finally, a couple notes. This is certainly an accessibility tool. You know, uh, it is available to teachers and students, uh, and it lets you be more inclusive uh, in terms of including special characters and symbols from uh, those other languages or writing systems that we saw. Uh, and it also lets you be more precise. You know, there's something useful there for any discipline. Uh, so I encourage you to check that out. Uh, and as always, contact IDTT if it gives you any trouble. And thanks for watching.